All right, good morning, guys, and welcome back. Thank you for joining me once again. It is a brand new day, and uh, what I'm going to start just at the beginning of this video is, is with a thank you for everybody who's who's been watching this series and all my other videos. I mean, I, I know I thank you guys a lot, but I can't do it enough, so I'll add another one right now. Thank you so much. Uh, it really does mean a lot, and, um, well, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for people watching it, so, yeah, it's down to you that I'm still here. Um, so if you if you can make sure you leave a like on this video that would be fantastic and I'm gonna head over to the mountains just to go get all the silver that I've been mining because I want to finish off see if I can upgrade everything I've got in silver because I'm gonna be taking on some difficult tasks ahead um, namely the plains biome um, but I've also got to try to sail up to the island way up here <laughs> to go and place down three dragon eggs to fight Moda. Now, I'm not going to fight him in this episode, but I at least want to try to find it. But I'm, I'm torn between doing that and actually venturing over into a plains biome, which I know I've got right here. Now, this could be the very first time I've, I've tried it. So uh, I'm going to, first of all, let's, I'll decide in a minute, but let me first of all go back up to the mountains um, because I've got all my silver and eggs carefully positioned right here. The nearest portal is over here. I've got enough stuff on me to build a little boat. Um, so we're going to go do that first. Um, I've just got to remember which mount, which portal it is. It's the one at the back here. Right. Let's do that. And all I've got to do is run down the mountain. I haven't actually eaten anything. Again, I keep forgetting to, to manage my health, as you well know. Um, but there's bound to be a few beasties up here who want to take advantage of me. So I'm just going to leg it, basically. Oh. <laughs> We've got Grey Dwarfs who are feeling adventurous. Sherpa Grey Dwarf there is trying to scale Everest. Nice. So, here be all the silver. I spent a little time mining some more silver and another dragon egg. And I've got to get three dragon eggs. I've got two more down by the swamps. So, um, I've got to build a boat and sail out of here with those dragon egg with the dragon egg which I know is reputed to be a little bit tricky because right, let's just get into repair mode as soon as you've built any boat you have to repair it because it does some full damage as soon as you uh, drop it in the water like that so yeah sea serpents are attracted to the dragon eggs all right now all of our mined silver is in the boat we have to sail home now I'm a little bit worried about this so I'm gonna I'm gonna sail around the coast here and then make a dash for it across this line right if nothing happens along the way then I'll cut this out and you'll just see me arriving home about now and that is some a beautiful parking I'm actually quite proud of that <laughs> All right, let's grab. No, don't hold fast, man. I'm actually quite annoyed. I put the workbench here. It's sort of in the way. But anyway, get the storage open. Let's start dragging this stuff into our smelters. And I'll be back once all of it is done. By the way, I've built the, the wolf rug as well, as well as the deer one, just to give me a little more comfort. That's why I started adding a table and a chair and a few other things, because it increases the comfort level inside your home, meaning you get more minutes to spend at rested. Your rested bonus uh, lasts a bit longer. So I've got to do a bit more of that. Maybe even build a better bed. In, in fact, maybe even build a bigger home, because as you can see, it's pretty cramped in here now. Oh, let's go get the dragon egg. Thank you there. And there it is. Wow. Hey, that looks all right inside the home. I reckon a few of those around. It'll make the place look real nice. Day 200. Oh, wow. That's a milestone. I'm glad you were here to see it with me. <laughs> An absolute milestone. Look, we've got piles and piles of silver out here. Let me just recharge the forges. All right. Let's grab all the silver we have. And we can't pick up any more. How much, how much is that? We've got 25 on board. And there's already 25 in here. 
Upgrade and here we come. Okay, so wolf armor chest upgrade to level three. Let's do that one. Nice. So we can upgrade to level six. We need another 15 silver. My god, it really does punish you, doesn't it? Okay, let's upgrade our legs. I don't know why it moves the things into different slots. As if you wouldn't want to uh, equip them as soon as you've done it. Uh, the Drake Helmet, we should take another upgrade on. I mean, it's such a beautiful thing. But that, so they're all level 3. Now, they can go another level up, but I'm beginning to run out of silver. But let's check the Silver Shield. We can do... If, it's actually a pretty cheap upgrade. Only 4 silver required. How are we doing for Silver Shield? We could do another one of those with a bit of fine wood. Let's get that up to level 3. I just much prefer the round shields and the, the block power on that now is much better. I'm just going to hobble over <laughs> to the workbench because I want to see how much an upgrade on the wolf fur cape is. That's pretty good. So it, it, the armor isn't what you really do it for. It's it's probably the durability. I'm not even sure I would I, I should bother up updating the, the wolf fur cape. It's obviously resistant to frost, and where we're headed, it will be a mountain biome, so let's let's leave it at that level two for now. Well, we've taken it off, but that's fine. It's not it's not often we see our guy without all of his stuff on. So the Draugr Fang must be done. Um, I want to get that all the way leveled up. So I think I should head to the swamp to get some guck. Okay, that's a good position. And a little more. Nice. I think it's essential to upgrade the best bow in the game. It's an investment that will never be lost, you know? I'm never going to get a better bow. So we must do it. So that's got us all the way up to level 3. Now to get... Oh, that's interesting. Oh no, hang on. Where is the Draugr Fang? Oh my word, to get up to the max level, 30 whole silver and 15 inch bar. Well, we're not going to get the max level today, but we do at least have enough guts to do it, just not enough silver. Whoa, what the hell was that? <gasps> what the hell is going on? Whoa, we've been attacked by Sirtlings. Okay, okay. This is a first. I've never had the Sirtling right. Don't you dare go in my house. You absolute ass! Look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, it's not beautiful at all. They move around so quickly. I can't get them. I'm taking too much... I'm taking too much damage here. Got to draw them away, let my stamina build back up. They're pretty bad shots, but the more I kill, the more turn up, so... I don't know whether I should just rake them away from my home. I've got to stay inside the red circle though, otherwise the timer does not count down. I actually have no idea how long it lasts. That's another one done. Another two out of the way. The attacks keep on coming. Wow, they take they take the block. That's it. That's it. I think the attack is over. And that is one of the few attacks I've actually survived outright. But look at all this gorgeous stuff. They've left us coal, which we really needed. And a whole load of certain cores. So what did I say I was gonna do? Let me just drop off some of this stuff that I've collected. I've got so many certain cores now. It's a lot of caving I've been doing. <laughs> Wolf armor chest, we can go from level three to level four. That's brilliant. He always looks so depressed when he's carrying too much. Look at that. His, his heart is saddened. <laughs> I'm carrying too much. You're making me carry too much. Okay, so wolf armor legs are going up all the way to level four. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is journey all the way up to Moda's location. <laughs> now, I've got a little tactic for doing it because... Let me show you on the map here. Uh, swamp 1 here, this portal... 
I've got a chest which has got three of the dragon eggs which I've collected from this mountain range. Um, I just went and picked up another one. So there's now three in the chest right here. Now that is probably my closest spawn point to Moda. So what I thought I would do, instead of sailing my ship all the way from my home here, which would be a pretty long journey, either way I do it, all the way up to Swamp 1, I figured I would destroy my, my ship, and I'm going to use the long ship, and take all the parts with me and build it again right there, which should make the journey a little bit easier. Alright, there it is, ready to go. So, now we've got that ship there, I'm just going to go get the, f the three dragon eggs which I've got stashed away in the chest over here. Um, is this going to be too much? No, it's not. So I've got to do three journeys. Alright, bear with me while I do that. I'll stick them in the boat. There we go. That's the third of three. And uh, given that it's actually getting a little bit dark, what I'm going to do is travel back home, leave this all here, get a good night's rest, make sure I've got enough food, and then we're going to set sail for Moda's Island. It would be nice if, it, <laughs> if the mist would clear so I'd be able to see exactly where we're heading. It's time to set the sails and get a move on. But this is the problem with sailing the longship, is that I wish there was a way of viewing it from above, because the sail itself gets in the way of the horizon. And one thing I noticed from the, uh, the map is as you radiate out from the centre where you normally spawn, it becomes more and more swamp and plains biome type land, so I'm expecting to run into a few, hopefully not literally, on this journey. Lots more islands up ahead, so we've got to hope we take. There's a lot of islands on the right-hand side I can see on the horizon there, so I might take... We're obviously heading towards the mountain range there. I'm wondering whether we should take the left path or the right path. The right path looks like there's way more land in the way, so I'm going to veer left. Now, the worst possible scenario for me, because I haven't been to Plains Biomes yet, is that where Moda's island is, is squarely sat inside a plains biome. I really, really do not want this. Because I want to put a portal down somewhere which is relatively safe. And planes are not safe. Oh no. I don't like this. Forces us to get, to get a little too close. To the land. I don't really want to. Deskitos, as you've seen for me, have already been able to sail out at me. Uh, sorry, to have been able to fly out at me. And they are not something I fancy taking on. Okay, we've got swamps. Plains and swamps. And plains and mountains. Neither of which I really want to get close to. I'll just go half sail so I can see what's ahead. It's a tiny little speck of black forest right in the middle of a swamp and a plane there. That's uh, kind of useful. But I imagine the enemies would just wander from one side to the other. Of course it varies for everybody where these bosses will spawn. Some people get lucky and they're all on the same island that they spawned on. For me, yeah. It's a way for the developers to get you to get out there and have a look around and discover new things. I don't feel rested anymore. No, I haven't felt like that for a while. Oh, what is that? Why is it all... It's covered in spider's webs, it almost looked like. I've never seen that before. Yeah, look at that. That's really weird. Is that a new thing? <gasps> the mist lands? What are you talking about, the mist lands? What, what are mist lands? I think I missed it. 
What the hell? Why has it gone dark? I don't like this. I really don't like this. The mi Mistlands? Are you kidding me? Oh god. This is really scary because I can't see anything. I've never heard of Mistlands before. <laughs> I didn't even know they existed. What kind of creatures live there, do you think? I haven't even been to the plains biomes yet, and now I'm finding out there's a Mistlands. How cool is that? Lots of rocks to, to contend with. I'm not sure about it with this boat. I'm wondering if I should just wait until it gets a bit brighter. This boat and rocks do not mix well. I'm sort of tempted to turn it around. Yeah, let's head back. Because I think that's a narrow river. And I've already experienced the pains of a narrow river. Oh, great. Sea serpent. Great. Just what I didn't need right now. Is he going to be bothered with me? Look at that. He's just, he's just floating over there. I might get away with this. The sea serpent hasn't got triggered by me. I am considering myself incredibly fortunate. There's still time, though, if he drifts this way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I'm heading straight towards the swamp. Not good. Not good. Right, we're definitely going the wrong direction now. So, motor is somewhere over there. Now, we can't be too far from the edge of the map. God, I hope we can actually get, <laughs> I hope we can actually get there without falling off the edge. You know when that I, earlier on I said, should I take the left or the right path? I'm beginning to think... In fact, I'm confirming I definitely chose the wrong one. God, there's ice in the water up ahead. Okay, well, it's, it's definitely misty. Oh, I see. So, oh my God, there's icebergs. Great. <laughs> Let's hope my boat's stronger than, than the Titanic. What is going on? Look at this. We've come so far north. We found icebergs. This is amazing. Oh god, we're gonna hit an iceberg, aren't we? <gasps> the deep north! Oh my god! Well, I guess now we know. The deep north. Check that out. We've, we've found a, a completely new area. Wow. This was supposed to be just a fun trip. <gasps> but it's led us to places I didn't even know existed. Well, I didn't think that we would be seeing all of this stuff today. No matter what I do, I can't see a way through to get back again. I feel like I've got to go... I've got to backtrack, haven't I? It's not breaking for me, this land, and I don't want to get... I don't want to sail off the end of the world! I'm freezing as well. Right, we've got to get out of here. I've brought a bit of frost resistance mead. I don't know if that's going to help me. It has actually helped, but I've got to get away from here. And fast. So the deep north, the wolf pelt will not save you from. I wonder if this is one of those biomes that we have yet to have filled with new creatures and... Oh god. There's a... There's a serpent. Don't do this to me. It's going to do it to me, isn't it? I can't get away. I've got to turn and get the sail up. It's the only thing I can do. No. Not fair. Really not fair. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on then. Watch out, I'm not going to crash into something. Oh 
Oh god. Is he still with me? No, he's buggered off. But I can't I can't stay here. Right, well, we got rid of him. This is so nerve-wracking. I think this is going to be the death of me, guys. I don't think I can survive up here. I only brought two of those frost resistance meads. It's not going to be in there. I think we got away with it. Good God. Well, those arrows are pretty damn good against it. I was not expecting this journey to be so eventful. <laughs> Oh god, look at that. There's a load of those idiots on there. Look at that. What the hell are they? Like gremlins. <laughs> well, we haven't fought one of those yet. They certainly seem to like the idea of fighting us. This flaming torch still works in the sea. Quite clever, that. Yeah, this is about the point where I was deciding to turn left or right. Well, we're going to have to try the other route. I'm going to stop off here at this black forest. And repair, my, repair the boat. And then see what we can find on the other side. I realise I'm going right next to a spawner. Let's get rid of this thing for a start. There it is. It's gone. Got a troll cave there as well. Oh, look at that. Came all this way for thistles. I'm running out of them where I am. <laughs> okay, let's just temporarily create ourselves a little workbench. Because we really do need to heal our beautiful sailing ship. There it is. It doesn't make a noise, the longship, when it's being repaired. Does it look like there was more land mass over here? We chose the left path, now we're going to try the right. Wow, big village over there. Really big village. We've got windmills and everything. Wow, there's some shallow waters here, I don't like this. See a damn thing. No, 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 no. Right, we got beached. Whoa, no. Gotcha. Whoa, death skeetos. Attack, attack. <laughs> oh, God. Gotcha, you little sod. Well, that's my first encounter with Desquitos. We've got to get out of here. Managed to survive my first foray with the Desquitos. Thank God I've got this armor. Well, my health was really low. They do a lot of damage. Right, we seem to be moving in. We're moving in the right direction now. My god, that was that was not fun. <laughs> the boat was too big. I beached it twice. God knows what horrors lie ahead. Finally managed to kill two death skeetos, though. Did I get anything for them? I didn't get any... They didn't drop anything, at least... If they did, it must have dropped in the ocean. At least there's open water here. <laughs> I say things like that just before I get bloody hit by a rock. Oh great, another leviathan. Oh, we found Black Forest. I mean, what are the chances this is the land where Moda is? It's it maybe a good chance. Right, I'm going to hop out and take a quick look. See if I can see mountains somewhere through here. To be honest, it's, it's nice not to be on the ocean anymore. I was getting a little bit seasick. Yep, I can see mountains. 
Now what I was I was just thinking what I could really do with is finding somewhere to shelter. Haha! -ha. Surprise! Okay, okay, let's get that stamina back. We're really close though. If I can get to the top of this and have a look over. We'll know. <laughs> it could be an absolute disaster. Or it could be really, really good. Oh. I don't know. We've got a castle there. We've got a hut up here. A castle here. Let's have a quick check in here. I don't think there's any... Oh, look at that. Oh, a moda location. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Useful. Yeah, there's a stone golem. He's coming my way. You absolute ass. Why would you do this? Okay. Biomass. I need you now. <sighs> I didn't want to fight with the golem right now. Seems to be blocked, which is really useful for me. Can't see anything. Oh, he's destroyed the castle walls. Wow. I'm sort of impressed. Yes, get in there, Drake. He's gone. He's gone, Gollum. He's a gone Gollum. Okay. Oh, really? Really? we are. Oh, it's right. It's right over there. It's super close. I wonder if I should make this a little temporary shelter. It's got a door. It's already got some roof. And it makes us particularly close to the location. Now, I realise the eggs are in the ship, so I'm going to have to do some ferrying. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to have to get through the night somehow, so this might have to be a temporary, a temporary shelter. Stick the bed there. Right, now this is going to be a spawn point, but to be honest, if the worst comes to the worst, you destroy your spawn point and then restart the game, and I think that means you come back to the stone circle, which is great. What have you got in the chest? Just a load of treasure. That's lovely. Right. Set the spawn point, sleep through the night. And then we'll do a little more exploration. God, I didn't think it would be the right at the very top of the mountain. Ah, oh, look at this. There it is. <gasps> what a sight to behold. Dear God, it's miles away. Right, I think we're going to move the bed to this location. Oh, look at that. Moda's location. Um, you just look out the window. Cool stuff. I might move the bed over here, but we have at least found our, our target. What we could do with, though, is if the weather would just kindly bloody clear up, I'd be able to see where the coastline is, because I want to sail the boat around here. There it is. The sacrificial altar. Offering bowl. So this way we basically we've got to put the three eggs in here. Obviously got to carry them up the mountain in the first place. And it's not something I want to do. Um, well at all. <laughs> I don't want to go a long long way. To do it. So I, that's why I need the weather to clear. So I can just see what's around. Now, funny thing is, there's a bloody dragon egg here. No room. What? No room in my inventory. God's sake. Right, well, I, I hate dem bones. So. <laughs> we've already got one dragon egg, and we know, they've, we know they spawn in the mountains. Good lord. 
all, collecting all those dragon eggs and sailing them all, all the way over here was absolutely pointless. Now I've seen the dragon eggs respawn. So, <laughs> this might be fairly straightforward. Um, I'm just going to drop that as an egg location. Plop. <laughs> well, that's one down, two to go. So I'm going to put the portal here. I've got to build another... Uh, another workbench, but I need some wood. So let me just do that quickly. Where's the nearest tree? Lovely. Let's hope we don't attract too much attention. Oh my god, there is a golem around here. Oh, for just... Give me half a chance with you. So he's doing a good job of breaking up some of the trees. That's even more wood for my little camp. Oh, wow. He just stabbed him. All right, let's stick the, uh, the workbench down now. We should have enough wood to do that. Stick it under uh, some kind of shelter. Let's get rid of those stairs. Entirely unnecessary. Oh god, it's coming. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this game, it's, it hates me. It hates me so much. trying to find me. He's trying to seek me out. I've got 30 seconds till my bone mass ability recovers. Let's get things here. He's coming back. He's coming back. Can't see me, bro. Oh my god. He saw me. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Right, my bone mass is ready. So let's get that activated. My health is really, really low. This guy is different. He's got a completely different attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. That's working. That's working. The roll been very successful here. So a completely different type of golem to the one I'm used to. He's got this spin attack and a stab attack. Yeah, he got me. He got me again. I need this stamina. just destroying everything. I suppose it's my fault for standing right next to it. Now you should be able to hit his arm. It looks like the hitbox is only centered around his body. Right. <laughs> Look at the mess you've made. What is that? Feathers. Oh, he managed to kill a bird for me as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Gollum. Look at the mess you've made here. Right, right there. It looks kind of nice with the uh, the stone portal behind it. The stone, um, whatever it is, the stone thing. Oh, I'm so, I'm so f I think I've been playing this game too long today. Okay, so we just need to name this one. What's his name? What's his blooming name? Moda. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we'll name this one Moda. Please connect. Please connect. Oh job done right I'm gonna head back to my home knowing there is a portal all the way up here 
in the far north. Cooled motor. Well, what a journey that was. Honestly, I don't know how much of it you saw in the episode, but I sailed all the way. <laughs> All the way up here, we found the mistlands, uh, loads of swamps, um, mistlands up here. Then we managed to find the deep north, whatever that is. Well, it's definitely not friendly. A couple of sea serpents to ruin my day. I mean, I had to sail all the way back, got beached here a couple of times, uh, sailed all the way up past this lot. F I found a few leviathans along the way, but eventually managed to find our way to Moda. We've got a temporary uh, spawn location there, which actually reminds me the first thing I'm going to do is reset that. I've got to rename, I've got to actually mark on the map where I just put it. <laughs> we found a dragon egg in the mountains and there's a high chance we'll be able to find more up there. I, take, I took all those dragon eggs all that way and I possibly didn't need to. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was very much an exploration, an adventure, I would say. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. As stressful as it was at times, I love this game. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you can. Uh, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in the next episode. All the very best to you guys. Take care and good night.